we got an entire dump trailer full of bread because a friend of mine brought it over. And we've been trying to dehydrate it for our birds. We fed a ton to the pigs. We gave a bunch away at church and we still have probably a ton of bread. So obviously we just have to compost it. It is absolutely incredible how much stuff gets thrown out. So this bread expired and because of all this crazy legal stuff, it just is supposed to be dumped. And my friend figured out how to get a big, big load of it. And so he did, but it, it's really, it's too much actually for us to handle. Uh, you know, two pigs, 25 chickens, 10 children. We filled our entire freezer full of bread, brought an entire table full of the best organic bread that was in the batch and some bagels and stuff to a church and gave it away. Um, everybody that came over, we tried to fill their cars up with the bread and, uh, and here we are. Stuff is starting to mold. So the best thing to do is to compost it. Now, if you were to read, you know, your common online, 10 things you should never compost or uh, how to do a compost pile in your backyard, easy way. Um, it'll say, oh, don't compost bread. Don't compost meat. You know, don't compost your enemies. But uh, what are you gonna do? Should we take all of this bread and throw it in a landfill? It's bad enough that there's all this plastic, right? Horrible amount of plastic. I mean, we see all this bread, all this plastic, all gonna go in a dumpster. At least with the bread, it being grain, we know that that's pretty much a green material. That's high enough in nitrogen that it's going to be a, uh, a pretty good activator layer in this pile. Now, it might attract vermin. I don't really care. This is my backyard out in the country. Um, I'm going to wet it down really good with some water and put some manure on it and stuff, which should describe, you know, disguise the smell of it a little bit. But I cannot imagine just simply throwing all this out. Even if I dug trenches in the garden and fill those trenches up with bread. That would feed the fungi. That would be better. I could lay this bread down as mulch and let the birds eat half of it and then the rest of it rot in the ground if I wanted to. It's just kind of gross. So I'm just gonna do this hot compost and alternate some green and brown layers. This being a green layer. We spread this out and then I'm gonna soak it down, do another layer on top of it and just keep going up until we have this huge beautiful mound of bread compost, like a bread compost pudding. But I should be showing, not telling. So I'm gonna go get the hose and spray this. And, and then I'm gonna make more layers. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add greens and browns and layer by layer and layer will do it. So I'm definitely gonna show that and not tell how I'm putting all the layers together and how I'm mixing the greens and browns and how I'm spraying it with a hose and how I'm throwing a little bit of clay and other things in there. I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna tell you about the greens and the browns and, and how it's gonna heat up when you make all these layers. And it's just gonna be, you're gonna watch it and go, that's how it's done. It's not me just saying it's greens and browns and it's layers and it's gonna get hot and Berkeley and all that stuff. We're gonna actually show you, just show you, show you right here in this, I mean, this, this like spot right here, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it in this pile. And it's gonna be so real. You'll be like, oh, now I know because I can see it. I can see, I can finally see. Ah, it's so real. So right now I'm showing you. <laughs> That's so dope, Bill. All the stuff you learn, you know, oh yeah, I should show not tell. It just cracks me up. Thank you all for being on my channel. I have so much fun. I have so much fun doing this. I get to compost bread. I can write this off. Like, I mean, if I bought the bread, I... I if I buy bread and... That would be dumb. 
You know how many, like, it's like $2,000 worth of bread. Not this, but the amount, the complete pile that we have. It's horrifying. Absolutely terrible. So what I'm doing here is I'm soaking it. I want it to mold. I want it to get hot in here. I want it to melt and get gross. Be really nice and wet so the microorganisms come into it and, and absolutely just take it over. I'll probably sprinkle some dirt in here too, but I'll show you that. I'll show you that. I won't tell you that. I won't tell you what I'm doing. I'll show you. Show you. Showing you how to compost bread. We'll see if it actually works. You're like, everybody's gonna go home and make a pile of bread and then get bears in their backyard or something. Maybe the good said to do it. And then I got mauled by bears. Or a Yeedy came and ate my bread pudding I was making in the backyard. I guess they like it. Oh, look at that. See, that's gonna rot. That's awesome. I'm glad that's not in my stomach. made compost and soil here just throw a little of that in there put a little life in let's really make sure it gets moldy that's good and then I've got some hay which I know has not been sprayed with anything a little bit of brown layer there Good. I have some wood chips, which would normally break down pretty slowly, but we'll see what happens. When they're covered in bread, you've got to figure out how to compost everything so it doesn't go into the waste supply. It's so easy. I mean, you could just throw fruit peels underneath your hedge, or you could make a compost pile. You could have, you don't have to have this much material. You don't have to have a ton of bread to make a compost pile. You can just start piling stuff up in one corner of your yard. If it's something that stinks or you think animals are gonna eat, you can dig a hole and bury it in there. You know, just get it back in the dirt. Go layer some, put some trenches in between your potatoes. Dig a little hole at the bottom of the azalea and throw the rest of the, the ham bone in there, you know? Get it back in the soil instead of throwing it in a landfill where it'll be slowly digested for the next 10,000 years. Don't stop me now, I'm on a roll. I have here a special ingredient. This is about a cup of molasses and a quarter cup of ammonia, which is high in nitrogen, in water, a couple of gallons of water. It doesn't really matter that much. You wouldn't think that ammonia would be great, but just pure ammonia is a super source of nitrogen that should get everything nice and hot, and the molasses should feed the microbes. And one of my sons said, hey, ammonia, that's high in uh, nitrogen. Want to throw some of that on there? So yeah, why not? So a quarter cup in there. Maybe that'll keep the vermin out. Smell it and say, what is this? A dead squid? I don't want that. There's no way I'm eating a dead squid. And then they just skip all the bagels instead, you know. Not for you. Grain rye, cover crop. Rye grass. Weeds. All good stuff. I'm gonna use these bread bags 
for the fig pop method of fig and mulberry and other propagation. So I don't have to go and buy plastic bags. We'll get one more use out of them, which was recommended to me by both uh, Sam at Scrubland Farms and my friend Randall over at Flomington Famous. We were all hanging out together the other day. I said, hey, why don't you use some of those bags? Got lots of bread bags. That'll work for your fig pop. All right. I think that's a great idea. I don't have to buy anything. No more trash. Loafing around. Got compost if you ain't got buns, hon. It's only 2.30. I love those invasives. Popcorn tree. I could use a lot more of that. Dead chicken. Little chicken. Something killed it in the night. Put it in a bread pile. Here we go. It's like those fairy tales when every load you make it gets three times more. Gave some to the worm bin. Gave some to the mealworm bin. Some to the pigs, some to the chickens, some to the kids, some to the neighbors, some to the church. The rest of the compost pile. gone about as far as we can go. Yeah, we've gone about as far as we can go. Now, you'll have to come back and see what this looks like when we bust it open. Probably in like a month or so. I'm just gonna leave it like this. And now we have to make about 13 more compost piles to get rid of the rest of the bread. Thanks for joining me. If you want to see a, a lot of ways to recycle just about everything from meat, bones, even fresh manure, even fresh human manure, all kinds of stuff, anything safely, compost it, return it to the soil, complete the nutrient cycle, check out my book, Compost Everything, The Good Guide to Extreme Composting. And stop being scared by all the rules about composting. They're ridiculous. Return it to the soil. It's better than putting it in a landfill, right? Thanks for joining me. Until next time, there are your thumbs. Always be green. I wish there was more I could do with these scraps. Thanks to David Good, I compost everything. Be nice to your mother and always say please. Be loyal to friends and compost your enemies. Be nice to your mother and always say please. Be loyal to friends and compost your enemies. Be nice to your mother and always say please. Be loyal to friends and compost your enemies. Space is a place on the dark side of the moon. The decals are too is